Richard. I'm Debbie. And we are Rich Biz Life Adventures. I've been through heartaches, I've been to heaven. I've done my best and my worst, learned my lessons. No matter how hard my life would treat me, I'd always get right back up, never worry. Right, so we're here at a Home Farm CL site. Um, so we've had a lovely weekend away with Lice for Tour and Jodie and Lee. We're going to do a quick chat now with these guys just to give a brief background on to how they got into van life and so on. So I'll turn the camera around now and uh, we'll have a quick little chat with them. Right, so here we are, Jodie and Lee. Hello, how's everyone doing? All right? Yeah, good. So, what's the name of your channel? Um, Lice for Touring. So it's all one word, life's the number four, touring. Because life's for touring. It is for touring. <laughs> right. And you're on YouTube, Instagram? Um, yes. So, yeah. So we're on the socials is Facebook and Instagram, uh, under life's for touring and, and YouTube. Yeah. Excellent. So you've got a Contiki now. Yes. This isn't your first van. No. How no. did you get into van lifing? Van lifing is something I've always wanted to do. Uh, I've always been envious and a bit jealous of when I'm pitching up to a campsite and putting up a big tent, uh, especially if it's a little bit of rain outside for the people with the wheels and their drive on, turn the engine off and then pretty much get the brews going. So it's something that I've always wanted to do, but to actually kickstart it off um, and what pushed us in that direction in the end, well, Jodie, you can say a bit of that story. Well, you did take me away in a tent, didn't you? I did. Um, and you were really excited about it. Great tent, you know, probably one of the best tents you could go away in. It's just that I thought I don't want this to be a holiday in every time in a tent. I didn't no. want that every time. I like the hotels and the comfort. And then we were getting married. Our honeymoon got cancelled because of COVID. Um, and we were looking at vans anyway. So we mm. decided let's get a, a van and let's go away in our honeymoon in a van. Yes, and yeah, so pretty much. And that, that's how it started, wasn't it? Yeah, and we got an Ace Nepali. Um, and that was great really enjoyed it the first trip we were off grid because we had to squeeze on mm. um uh, a site because it was all fully booked because it'd been covid times after covid wasn't it and yeah we were yeah. on a little bit of grass off grid and i absolutely loved it yeah. um i never looked back after that really and you you were really no. happy with that weren't you because you I, weren't I sure was, i was pretty happy you weren't sure, sure if sure, i'd yeah. like it or not wouldn't yeah. you so yeah, yeah. Uh, and it yeah. yeah developed into this new life for us yeah, out and then you've progressed it to this one, and it's a Contiki 645? Uh, 794. Yeah. 794. So, 794, yeah. so we've got the island bed. It's the 2022 model, so the newer models from 2023 to 2024 models have got the longer chassis base. So of this a, model, Of yeah. this model, so yeah. there's a bit more leg room within the bedroom to walk around the island bed. But other than that, it's near enough the same. But, um, yeah, so... I weren't going to upgrade to something like this, especially if Jodie didn't like it. So like most of us out there, we got a starter van. The, and one of the reasons we did is because we had to make the bed up every time and putting the cushions on. And I'm a very light sleeper and I just really struggled the next day. Like bad mm. back, was, it wasn't sleeping properly. And I just said to Leah, we really need something with a fixed bed. Yeah, we did have the overhead cab as well, mm. but the overhead cab... Um, we both weren't comfortable up there together. No. You know, if one of us needed toilet in the night, you're climbing <laughs> yeah. over. Yeah. Yeah. And, and if it was too dark and I woke up and did that, I did feel like I was in a coffin. Yeah. yeah. So, and has this van got a name? Have you named it? We have. Yeah. So the name of the van's Ruby. Um, it's not stuck on the side or anything like that, but it's more to do with obviously it's a precious gem and this is precious to us and the colours of the, the van. So we, mm. we named it Ruby. Yeah. Yeah. So coming away from the van life and you're now doing YouTube. Mm -hmm. And what brought you on to doing YouTube? Other people doing it, really. Yeah. yeah. Which I, I think is great. Main thing. Um, we, we did a couple of videos. We weren't going to put them on. We were a bit nervous. We, we wanted to, but we just thought, mm. who wants to watch us? You yeah. know, yeah, <laughs> yeah, <laughs> yeah, <laughs> we actually do. Where do yeah. they want to yeah. watch us? Everyone has that fear. Yeah. <laughs> um, um, but yeah. we, we just decided, we spoke to somebody um, and he just said, just put them on. Just, yeah. put them just, on just see where they go. It. Do it for yourselves. Yeah. Just see what happens. Yeah. Um, and then obviously we've got this van. We started on the other van. Then we got this van. 
Um, and because there's a lot of motorhome delays and our story is we were going to get a different van, different mm. layout, and we were waiting and waiting. And then we just had a look online and seen this like 10 month old, thought it's cheaper. Mm. Yeah. Um, why are we waiting? We didn't know. It could be another whole year before we got it. We wanted to be out in the new van. Um, so we ended up getting this one. Um, and we decided to document us getting it, did a tour of it, and yeah. it just rocketed, because didn't we, it? it rocketed we we that saw one. other people doing it. So YouTube really, we knew about YouTube. Everyone knows about YouTube, but we didn't really understand the fact that people put on a, a vlog or they, they log their things they do. Uh, and people watch it. So when we started to look for a van, we started to really start to find the vans we want. So the people that were vlogging and they had the vans, uh, and just like many of you out there, you know, you look at a reason. Um, so the van being the reason. So we started to follow people. And we like that community and van life that's community. That's the other side, isn't it? Mm. Uh, yeah. So we start. we thought, well, why not do YouTube ourselves? Mm. And that, that's, uh, and then getting a little kick up the backside from um, some may some may not know but neil campsite warden yeah, um and he so. said just go for it get it on there and it is what it is and and mm -hmm. here we are today and the thing is as well once you start doing it and you get it you go to the show start meeting other youtubers like yourselves mm -hmm. um you've got the other side of the community as well rather than going away because we didn't want to go away all the time just me and you and all the time it'd be just me and you we wanted yeah. to to um, meet people yeah and yeah. this has given yeah. us because there were so many really good youtubers out there doing van life and so they're all lovely they're all nice you mm -hmm. you know you meet up we got you've all got your own stories your own journeys and i think with having so many people doing it now because lots of new channels coming up yeah mm -hmm. um and i think i think it's great because it's given a bigger market yeah um yeah. and i think why not if you fancy you know if you fancy doing a bit of youtube you know, i could do that just pick mm. up a camera and do a bit and Give see it where go. it goes and uh, even, yeah. even if it's for yourself and yeah. for your kids and your mm -hmm. your grandkids in the future to look back at your videos say oh that's nan and granddad on there mm -hmm. yeah. you know they used to travel around everywhere so for the people that are not subscribing to you already make sure you go over and check these guys out what what can they expect from your channel what sort of what makes you stand out in your opinion mm. i don't know if it's so much no. standing out because we all kind of vlog our journeys in our vans and mm. you know mm. everyone's it's kind of a different van different journeys but it's it's all got a common interest hasn't it so yeah. i wouldn't say stand out i just think with us we just like to some people live in the vans mm. so they go they're completely different document in their lives in the vans which people mm. love um some people like ourselves we don't live in it we've got um, a house that we rent so ours it stays in storage and then mm. we just go out and show because it's different it depends what the audience want yeah. because some people do what we do just go out and mm -hmm. do a couple of weekends here and there and then maybe a couple of weeks here and there and maybe go off to europe for a month or three months or whatever that's kind of where we are where someone that lives in their van somebody else might live in their mm. van or want to live in their van and they find their stuff interesting yeah. so, so basically within, within the channel we, we vlog our trips away yeah and i think so yeah, it's not about standing out for us for, from other yeah. channels it's just we will try and push i suppose a bit of the boundaries with the size of this van uh, and if it's a, an off-grid park up somewhere mm. a car park somewhere a pub stop somewhere a cl or campsite um, so we do a variety of different sites and stops um, and we do some big travels and um, highlight, I suppose, certain areas um, for people to see within the vlog as well. And you like to, you do bits of maintenance. Bits of maintenance, stuff like that. If we get yeah. any additions added to the van, yeah. we've got some more stuff coming up and on, on there. I'll probably do a bit on that. Um, and it's just, yeah, if you're interested in, in the van and, and this way of life, we show it just like others but in our way i suppose we just document like you do with yeah. yours you just document how you do it don't you yeah. and it's not and the right just... way necessarily no, it's no, just it's the way not. we've done it and some yeah. people yeah. will some people will like how we do it and follow us some people might like a different channel mm. better because mm. they do it the way they want to do it yeah. Yeah. so it's i don't think it's a case of standing out it's finding the people that are interested in how you're doing mm. how you're doing it because van life can mean living in your van or it can mean having a van as part of your lifestyle so yeah. it just depends how people see it and yeah. i mean i mean you built your van didn't you so yeah. you've got mm. you've got that side of it people are interested in the van build and yeah. then what you're doing with your journey since you've built your van and mm. things like that whereas ours we've bought one people are interested in the van because it's 
quite a new van mm. and and interested in where we go in it and how that's we right. how, how we, we do things it. how yeah. we use it that, that's and you, you what putting it your own stamp on it as well your own little yeah. mods and tweaks yeah yeah, yeah. Exactly. you like to think you, you like to think you've got a personality and that um, people <laughs> people want to follow you for your personality yeah. um but they might just want to follow you for the van yeah. you know it's yeah. just it's yeah. Just that, isn't it? Yeah. So, lights for touring, Jodie and Lee, uh, I'd like to take this opportunity to thank you for thank inviting you. us on your weekend. We've come and pushed ourselves onto your weekend, but uh, no, we've had a blast and yeah. um, they do like to get everyone drunk, so watch out for oh. these guys. <laughs> but, um, no, go and check these guys out, they are very entertaining and informative. So, if you need to know good park ups, pub stopovers, etc. Go and check them out. Thank you very much, guys. Thank, no, thank you. you. No, thank, thank you for coming. You and Debs, thank you very much for joining us on the weekend. We've had a blast. Thank we you. Thank you. Hey, darling. Can I tell you what's been on my mind? Sick and tired of the nine to five in the city light.